Hey guys, I'm Matt Joseph Diaz, and today I'd like to talk about something. At some point during your young life, you're probably gonna say this to somebody, or someone's gonna say it to you. It just feels like everybody has it figured out, and I'm the only person who hasn't gotten their shit together. In the short time I've been around, in the 23 years I've been on this planet, can I tell you something I've really figured out recently? Nobody knows what the fuck they're doing. At all. Seriously, I have met some incredible people. I've met people who've done amazing things. I've met writers, public speakers, people who've built empires online. I've met actors, I've met models, I've met so many incredible talents. And if you have a single conversation with them about their career for more than five minutes, they're gonna say the exact same thing to you every time. Well, honestly, when I first started out, I really had no idea what I was doing, but then I kind of figured it out as I went along. That is literally how life works. Now, I know we have these ideas when it comes to adulthood. You know, you stop going to school, you work for a living. It feels like once you're out of school, when you're 18 or 21 or however old doctors are when they become doctors. How old was the cast of Scrubs? Like 28? 28, I'm guessing. It feels like once you get out of school, that part of your life is left behind. Because up to that point in your life, your learning has been so regimented. But then when you leave school, when you become an adult, a new kind of learning happens. It's more subtle, but it's there. I live my life by a motto that I call fucking up in the right direction. Literally the biggest, most important, most freeing change in my life happened because I kind of fucked up at what I was trying to do. Someone on Tumblr a year ago asked me if I had any excess skin from losing 270 pounds. And I decided to share this video with the few people who followed me on Tumblr. I made this really emotional video banking on the fact that 800 people would see it only. And I kind of fucked up at nobody seeing it. One year and 150 million views later, here I am. And that never would have happened any other way. Now obviously that's very surreal, very unique case. That's kind of how life is. It's kind of how it is for everyone. Circumstances, coincidences, meeting someone in the right place at the right time. That's how you end up forging the most important relationships of your life. The first time I fell in love, it was because I met a girl at a show that I wasn't even planning to go to. Nobody really has it figured out because there's really no way to figure it out. You can be an adult, you can be responsible, you can plan, you can structure. But at the end of the day, if life feels like throwing you a curveball, you're gonna get hit with a fucking curveball. Sometimes things don't work out and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Sometimes you go to college for one major and end up falling in love with another one. Sometimes you get a degree in a certain field and you find out that field is for you. Sometimes you plan big things, weddings, relationships, buying a house, and shit just gets in the way. It's different, and different doesn't mean that it's bad. It just means it's different. What you have to understand is that we all walk a certain path in life. This sounds like it's getting spiritual, but I swear it's just a metaphor. We all kind of have a set path we want ourselves to walk down. For some of us, it's high school, college, job, family, kids, house. And for some of us, like me, it's none of that. But what you have to understand is that path is something you perceive. It's something you think you want because you haven't actually walked it yet. And you have to stop telling yourself that you're a failure just because you've gone off that path you planned for yourself. And stop telling yourself you're a failure because that path might not even be clear. We're human beings. We change every day. It's okay to not know what the fuck you want. Some of us have a drive at a very early age. They know exactly what they want to do. I have a friend who's wanted to be a doctor since he was five years old. And he fucking is one now. That's way more straightforward than I could ever hope for. When I was like five years old, my teacher asked what I wanted to be, and I said Captain America, and according to medical science, that isn't possible yet, so I'm still trying to figure it out. But right now, this time when we still haven't figured out our path yet, this time in our lives still has value. Nothing is wasted time if you can learn from it. Every day is a learning opportunity. At the end of every day, you've experienced something new, you've had a new interaction, the world is a slightly different place than it was at the start of it. And it can be hard to find, but somewhere deep down there's a lesson in it. You might not know what your path is, you might not have it all figured out, but I promise none of us really do. We're just kind of getting better at winging it. Those of us who have thorough plans, who know what we want to do, we're just kind of hoping for the best. Because life could just happen tomorrow and throw a wrench in the whole thing. Your ability to plan and schedule out your entire life is something that's really good for being responsible. It's really good for certain aspects of your life. But in my mind, when it comes to the overall point of life, the overall point of being a human being, your ability to adapt and change with the moving tide. That is the essence of being a person. That's what's going to make or break you. As long as you find value and purpose in what you do, it's okay to not have it figured out. And even if you don't like what you're currently doing, trying to work towards something you might enjoy is the first step. Everybody has their advantages and their weaknesses. But those things are a balance. They make the person you are. And don't forget that. Your path is one that'll be walked in its own time. And just because someone else seems to have it more together than you do, doesn't mean that they're living life better than you. That's not how it works. Regardless of what people might think, we're not in competition with each other. These people aren't better than you, they're just different. Pursue the things you think you'll love. Work hard, try and be happy. And when you find what you're here for, it might be tomorrow, it might be five years from now, it might be 10 years from now, you'll never know. But don't spend your life waiting for that to hit you. Because your life will just zoom by when you're busy trying to figure out what you're supposed to be doing. I'm saying this for you and for me because I'm kind of lost at the moment. Just know the people around you who seem to have it all together have their own issues. They're succeeding at things you might struggle with and you might be succeeding at something they struggle with. And none of that makes us more successful at living than another person. So live your life, follow the road you're meant to follow, and don't be afraid to step off the path every once in a while.
it might do you some good. Well, guys, that's all for now. Uh, you can find my articles on ravishly.com where I talk about body positivity, sex positivity, feminism, that kind of stuff. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, all at Matt Joseph Diaz. So the question I'm gonna leave you with is if you could follow your dream, what would it be? I still wanna be Captain America, I fucking swear. Leave your comments down there as well as any topics you might want me to talk about in a future video. And I'll see you guys soon. Always remember, embrace your weird.